Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking PlayStation background in Microsoft Word. And it's heavily based on my previous tutorial about creating those wavy header graphics with Visual Basic for application in Microsoft Word. And I would suggest you to go check out this tutorial first because it has all those details about how to create those lines. And actually, maybe the first step would be to check the linear interpolation tutorial inside Microsoft Word with Macros because that's, this is like the first step in being able to create something like this. And this is like the first step, of course, in being able to create something like this. And uh, today's tutorial is based on the image which I found on the Flickr website. It was uploaded by the user Sentry. So thank you Sentry for providing us the image which we will use today. So this is the actual Microsoft Word file from the previous tutorial for creating those very header you know, designs or images. Let's quickly examine what we have in here. So I will select the selection pane. And this is the final output which I will hide for now. So we start with two different shapes, two different uh, curves. And we have this macro. So if I jump to developer macros, we have the macro called baby header. If I simply run this macro, it will take those two selected uh, lines and basically interpolate between those two lines. And with each step, it will draw a new line, which will create this like the blend function, which is a standard function in like Adobe Illustrator. So that's what we have and that's what we will use. So I will probably get rid of everything because I don't need it. I will change the layout, maybe orientation to landscape and I will paste the image from the Flickr website. And I will zoom out, maybe I will you know, try to reposition the image or maybe I make the margins a little bit you know, narrower. Maybe I will also change the page size just so you know it looks better. Those are those all are the optional steps. I will just change it to maybe like I don't know 18 centimeters so it's kind of like a nicely aligned on the page again all those are the optional steps what's important is to select the image and I will select colors and set like those those gray or sorry faded colors just so it's not getting in our way and I'll of course set this uh, to be in front of text just so I can hide it later on so you can see we have something which kind of resembles our previous tutorial the wavy header lines it's just a little bit more complicated there are more colors there are more lines whatever so in order to make it as simple as possible i will probably split the background into two parts so this bottom part will be uh, made from one merge or one blended uh, uh, shape the right part will be another set of uh, shapes or set of lines so let's start to try to trace the bottom part so i'll select insert shapes and here I will select this uh, curve. And what's important here is to remember the no number of vertices I draw. So I will start probably with this bottom line. So I will insert one point here. Second one will be around here. Third, one more and one more. So I have five different points. I will select, I will right click and select edit points. You can count, I have five different points. I just need to adjust those handles a little bit to kind of follow the shape uh, more closely like this okay and i will end around here seems like it's kind of matching maybe i will move this more to the left or maybe make it a little bit narrower or wider oh, sorry okay so that's like the this is like the background line and now i need to trace the the front line but with the same number of points so five points it is so i'll select insert shapes and i will again select the curve and i'll start in here one two three four five and i will try to end at around the same position because it kind of uh, goes into the same spot i will right click select edit points and you know do the exactly the same stuff make it this little bit smaller this should be like this and there should be a big curve on the on the end i cannot see any handle so i'll right click and select a smooth point no it's just that the point is so close to the point the handle is so close to the point i cannot move it that's kind of you know strange what i can do with this i don't know maybe if i zoom in as much as i can i will see the handle no i can't see it hmm. okay so what i can probably do is i can probably insert a new point here so i'll click my with my control key over the line to create a new point and I, then I will click over the last one with the control key being pressed just to get rid of this point. This way I can see the handle so I can make this curve bend it much more like this. And this should be working just fine. 
okay i'll not spend too much time tweaking the curve you can do it on your own you know making or rotating all those handles to kind of match the background shape but i'm pretty satisfied with the result so i will count the number of lines used actually in this design which is one two three four five seems like there are 18 lines so i will hide the image i will select those two lines with the shift key being pressed on my keyboard and in the developer ribbon i will open the macro and i will make sure that the number of shapes is set to 18 this time i will run this and hopefully i will get something kind of similar to our to the image so if i show the image it's not exactly the same but you can see that the wave in here it's kind of matching the background which is great so i will hide this shape and i will try to trace also the right you know right part of the background so again i will use the curve tool so insert shapes curve and i will start maybe around here that's where i've ended maybe right here and i will go one two three four five that's just a coincidence that i'm using five points i could probably use you know more or less points that's that's not a, a rule that i have to use five points but it kind of works this time to have five five points here so that's the front actually the front line and now i will trace the the other line the background line so again insert shapes the curve tool i will start in the same spot one two three four five and hopefully that will work all right click select edit points you know it almost looks like the same of course i can tweak it to perfection but i kind of like it how it is so let's let's see if that works as well so i will select those two lines and i will select of course uh, macro developer ribbon macro and i will run this macro and you know we are getting a very satisfying result that's great i wasn't expecting to be this this easy so the next thing of course would be to make sure that the colors are kind of matching so i will reset the colors so color or re this is actually the reset color reset picture button so i can see the colors and i can probably move this away from all those lines so i can clearly see what we are changing and i will right click and select format object i can probably hide the format uh, sorry i can hide the selection but i have to keep the format object pane and for the line i will select a gradient line and i want this gradient line to be linear going from left to right and on the left side there is like the i don't know maybe like the violet or almost like a pink color so maybe like this this one going to like the blue one so the second step will be more of the blue like the dark blue in the middle there is a very bright blue color so maybe like this or maybe even this one that's more of the bright and it goes all the way to the right side way when it ends with the yellow color so the last step will be yellow color so standard yellow it is maybe it's this one and i will get rid of those two gradient stops somehow move those along and you can see it's, it's drawing from top to bottom so i will change the angle to zero degrees to go from left to right and i may reposition some of those gradient stops and i may also change the width of the line to maybe like two points that will look better also while i'm all making all those changes i will jump to design the ribbon and quickly change the page background to some darker color i will probably not go with a black right now but uh, some darker gray should be fine just so we can clearly see what we are changing and you know drawing i will move this yellow more to the left and we can continue with maybe even you know this blue and the pink should be a little bit lighter so i will try to choose a lighter colors so maybe like this one this seems a, you know to be a better fit and the blue one could be maybe a little bit lighter as well okay i like this much much better so i will select the right shape i will move my image like this just so i can see maybe like this and move this bring this to front so i can see what colors i need to you know, sample or set and again i will use a gradient line and i will most likely start with the gradient going from white to black but those uh, two st gradient stars will be very close to each other that will help me to set the gradient angle and right now you can see it kind of 
is the right angle because I want this to be going from left uh, left bottom corner to the right top corner. So maybe something around 80 percent. Uh, sorry, 80 degrees seems like a good uh, gradient uh, angle. So the first stop should be obviously a yellow one. So I will start with the yellow. Actually, it's the other stop. So the last stop will be yellow. Sorry, the last stop will be yellow. The next stop will be like a red. So I will select some kind of red color for this one. Maybe this one. It goes to like the pink one. So maybe the last one, the third one will be like a pink. And also I will change the line width to two points. And you can see it's kind of, you know, it's kind of starting in the wrong spot. So I, I will try it if I can rotate the gradient to a point where the yellow, it, you know, the yellow colors are matching. So it's kind of being connected between the first and the second set of lines. And I, I believe that just around here, it works just fine. So around 100 degrees, I will move those stops so I can have a more soft gradient going on. And I'm pretty satisfied with the result. You know, you can see I have a nice looking wavy kind of thing. If I take a look at the original picture, there is a little bit of background uh, color spill. If I can say that way, there are like uh, bright spots on the background. So I can quickly try to do that as well while keeping the tutorial as short as possible. So what I will do is I will change the background color to black. So design page background should be black. And I will insert few shapes, so insert shapes uh, oval, and I will draw it like this in a very big size. I will set the line to be no line, and the fill to be kind of matching what's in front of this. So in this case, that's kind of like the violet color. So uh, the fill should be kind of some kind of dark violet color, maybe. Maybe this one will work. And in the effects, I will open the soft edges and increase the soft edges to maybe like, I don't know, 30 or maybe like 60 points maybe even more 70 points and I will aim a, you know, change the fill transparency to maybe like, I don't know, 50. So it's just, you know, just a little bit visible, maybe even more like this. And I will duplicate this shape a few more times. In here, I will change the color to like yellow, of course, a little bit more faded. Here I can maybe use the violet one or the pink one as well. Maybe a little bit less faded this time. I can use you know, green color around here, you get the point. It's just like a, like the lines are kind of being a little bit blurred. And one more blue here. Okay, maybe a little bit less like this. Not quite sure if that's uh, visible on the video because of the compression, but that's it. That's how you create a nice looking wavy background in Microsoft Word in, I don't know, like 13 minutes. And you know, the, I haven't uh, showed you how to create a PlayStation logo. Maybe we can do this the next time. So that's it. Thanks for watching.